I'm Dr. Harry Adelson. At Doceri Clinics, we practice exclusively stem cell transplant for people suffering from chronic musculoskeletal pain of the spine or joints. I'm fortunate enough to have been one of the early adopters of stem cells for chronic pain. To be clear, my experience over years and thousands of cases have been that stem cells are not a miracle cure. They can be helpful among those in overall good health who have realistic expectations. Because we're very careful in our screening process, based on careful follow-up, we help more people than we don't help. But even then, we don't help everyone. Stem cell therapy is considered experimental and it's not completely without risk. In this short video, I will cover what is a stem cell, what is the source of most chronic musculoskeletal pain, how do we think stem cell therapy works, what is the difference between stem cells from your own body and from a donor, conditions we are investigating here at Doceri Clinics, conditions we do not treat under any circumstance, broad guidelines for those patients who probably need surgery, who is least likely to be helped by stem cell therapy, and how to proceed if you are interested in being evaluated. What makes a stem cell a stem cell? The very definition of a stem cell is that it's a cell that has the ability to either self-replicate, turn into a new version of itself, or differentiate, turn into a target tissue cell. A stem cell's other superhuman power and the mechanism that we think is central to both tissue healing in normal circumstance and when used therapeutically is what is called the paracrine effect. A paracrine effect is a form of intercellular communication where the stem cell recognizes that it's in the presence of damaged tissue and tells the surrounding tissues to control inflammation, kill invading microbes, and launch the growth of healthy new connective tissue and blood vessels. We have stem cells in every tissue of our body. Their role is to maintain the health of their microenvironment through their paracrine effect. Whenever you have healing after injury, it is a stem cell mediated event. As we undergo traumatic injury or repetitive microtrauma, chronic pain develops when the damage to our tissue outpaces our stem cells ability to maintain the health of its microenvironment. Basically, when more damage is done than your stem cells can repair, the degenerative process begins. In the case of age-related degeneration, we undergo some combination of depletion of the population of stem cells in a given microenvironment and senescence of stem cells in that microenvironment. The word senescence means loss of the cell's power. Connective tissue is a miracle fabric. It stretches just the right amount in every direction. When musculoskeletal structures deteriorate, that means changes occur in the microscopic anatomy of joints, ligaments, tendons, and muscles. Collagen fiber patterns become chaotic and the miracle fabric that is our connective tissue loses its miracle properties. It stretches too much in some directions and not enough in others. Additionally, irregular blood vessels sprout up, thereby hindering our ability to bring oxygen to tissue beds. When these two processes occur, the affected area becomes a pain generator. Stem cell therapy is the harvest of stem cells from parts of your body that have robust populations and transplant them to the area of degeneration that needs help. By placing large volumes of cells and growth factors in the area of degeneration or damage, we trick the body into thinking that you've sustained a new severe injury without actually causing any tissue damage, thereby launching the body's natural ability to heal itself through the paracrine effect. Viewed that way, the work we do here at Doceri Clinics is truly drugless medicine that harnesses the healing power of nature. This is perfectly in harmony with the philosophy of naturopathic medicine. There are two categories of stem cells, autologous 
and allogenic. Autologous means donor and recipient are the same person. The stem cells come from your body. There are two tissues that are rich in stem cells and relatively easy to harvest. Bone marrow aspirate concentrate, BMAC, is a simple bone marrow aspiration followed by concentration. BMAC is a good source of stem cells and a rich source of other valuable healing factors. Think raw bone broth from your own body. Bone marrow contains whole blood, therefore plasma, and blood platelets. So by concentrating the bone marrow, we're also rendering platelet-rich plasma. BMAC is truly the workhorse of stem cell therapy. Tried and true, it enjoys by far the greatest body of scientific literature to support its use. Stromal vascular fraction, or SVF, is adipose-derived stem cells. Stem cells from your fat. We do a lipoaspiration, or a mini liposuction, then put the harvested fat through a process to isolate the stem cells to make them ready for deployment. Between bone marrow and fat stem cells, most clinics in the U.S. that harvest and prepare autologous stem cells use either one or the other. Here at Doceri Clinics, we combine both. Allogenic stem cells mean that the donor and recipient are separate individuals. The stem cells come from someone else. Umbilical cord stem cells have exploded with popularity in just the past few years, with clinics popping up everywhere offering umbilical cord cells. There are two types of umbilical cord cells currently on the market. There are those that are freeze-dried. The issue here is that the cells do not survive the freeze-drying process. Therefore, these products do not contain living cells. The other type of umbilical cord cells are deep frozen. With deep frozen products, there may be some number of living cells. Here at Doceri Clinics, we do not use these allogenic umbilical cord stem cells at all. There are two allogenic products that we do use that do not contain whole cells or DNA from someone else. These products are amniotic fluid, amniotic membrane. Amniotic fluid, amniotic membrane does not contain cells, but is a rich source of bioidentical, human-derived hyaluronic acid, a major constituent of ligaments, joint surfaces, and intervertebral discs. The other product we like to add to your own stem cells are exosomes. Exosomes are vesicles filled with growth factors derived from placental stem cells. Exosomes are, in fact, the active ingredient of stem cells responsible for triggering the paracrine effect without the actual stem cells or DNA. As we age, what makes our own stem cells old is their loss of ability to manufacture these very exosomes. So by supplementing our own stem cells with these very robust placental exosomes, we think that we're effectively turbocharging our own stem cells into a younger version. At Doceri Clinics, treating pain is all I do, and it's all I've ever done. Since I opened my doors in 2002, I've practiced 100% regenerative medicine for the treatment of musculoskeletal pain. From 2002 to 2010, I practiced regenerative injection therapy and platelet-rich plasma. Since 2010, my practice has been 100% the investigation of the use of stem cells for musculoskeletal pain conditions, namely pain of the spine and pain of the joints. People who come to us suffer from chronic pain, meaning duration of at least one year. We do not treat acute injuries. The reason for that is because either an injury is severe enough that it requires surgery, or it doesn't require surgery, but it might completely heal on its own within a year's time, so better to wait and see. Additionally, we do not treat any type of systemic disease, such as neurologic, cardiovascular, pulmonary, or autoimmune. We also do not treat spinal cord injury, autism, or cancer. Clearly, there are chronic musculoskeletal pain conditions that are too far gone, for which stem cell therapy has no chance of helping. 
If you're in this category, believe me, the last thing I want to do is waste your time and money and in the process give myself and stem cell therapy a bad name. In the broadest terms, I will probably recommend a surgical consult to the following people. In conditions of the spine, people who are experiencing loss of motor function, meaning weakness in their arms, legs, hands, or feet. Also, people with bowel or bladder incontinence. These are people who need to speak with a surgeon right away, without delay. In conditions of joints, I will also likely suggest a surgical consult for people who are experiencing a loss of joint function, such as loss of range of motion, loss of stability, or if the joint sticks in place. This means that either the degeneration is so advanced, there's been a change in the shape of the bone, or there's actually a structural issue. These people most likely either need joint replacement surgery or some type of surgery to correct the structural issue and should consult with a surgeon. We've talked about conditions for which stem cell therapy is not appropriate. What about people who are not candidates? The goal of stem cell therapy is to trigger the body's natural healing response. This requires a healing response. What if a person doesn't have an adequate healing response? If someone doesn't have properly functioning stem cells, we can move them around all we want, but not much is going to come of it. People that we've had far less success with are people in overall poor health, such as the morbidly obese, poorly controlled diabetics, people with poor healing responses for whatever reason. Heavy drinkers. Alcohol is toxic to stem cells and the body's in a constant state of inflammation. Smokers. Every time you smoke, you're shocking your body into a state of inflammation. Chronic narcotic users. Because their brain's relationship to pain has fundamentally changed. We might reduce the pain generation, but your brain won't register it. People with a strong victim mentality, although they rarely reach out to us. If you're considering stem cell therapy and you're unhealthy, take a year to get healthy first. If you're a heavy drinker, smoker, or habitual narcotic user, get clean first. That might mean undergoing an inpatient program. In either case, the worst thing that can happen is your health will improve and you'll be happier for it. And don't worry, a year from now, I'll still be here. If you're interested in being evaluated by us, go to our patient info page. Fill out the forms there and get them to us. If you have images such as x-ray or MRIs, send us the CDs of the actual images, not just the reports, please. We'll go over what you send us at no charge and determine if you might be a candidate. If you're not, we'll let you know. Believe me, if I don't think I can help you, I'll tell you. I don't wanna waste your time or money. It's bad for you and it's bad for me. If you fit the profile of people we've helped since 2002, we will reach out to you and schedule a 30 minute evaluation over the phone or internet. This will give me enough information to have a pretty clear idea what my recommendations would be and what that would entail. You'll then have the option of being treated by me or one of my associates at their price point. I hope this has been helpful. Please see our FAQ page for more details. If everything works out and you decide to make the trip to Park City, then I look very much forward to meeting you.